In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an animated highlighter effect on your video footage inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe After Effects and this is the footage that I have. So it's just a very simple camera on the tripod pan from left to right over this notepad. And this is the text that I want to highlight. So before I can do that, I first just want to motion track the footage. So I'm going to go into effects and presets and search for 3D camera tracker and we'll drop this onto the video footage and After Effects is just going to take a moment to analyze the camera movement of the footage. And there you go, once After Effects has finished analyzing the footage, you'll notice you get all of these tracking points on your video footage. So you want to first just pay close attention to that line or that word that you're looking at. So just hover over there and select three points that have stuck perfectly. So. I'm going to keep my eye on this green one, this blue one, and this green one. And they seem to be perfectly stuck to the camera's movement. So I'm just going to hover over those. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select create null and camera. So essentially that has taken the tracking data from that camera movement and turned that into a null object. So all you would need to do here is just to create a solid, convert that solid into 3D and then animate that in into the scene. So let's go through that process. So let's go for a new solid first. Let's go layer, new, solid. We'll just go ahead and select a highlighter color. So let's just go for this nice yellow. We'll press OK. And then from there, you want to turn this into a 3D layer. And if you're not seeing this area down here, then just select toggle switches slash modes. So we'll select toggle switches slash modes, and that should reveal this box here. So you've got the 3D box here. We'll select that and that will turn that box into a 3D layer. Now at the moment you can see this is way too large. We can't see what's happening. So I'm just going to go into transform. So transform, drop down arrow and we'll just decrease that scale down. And you just want to scale it down so that you can see that it's going to track to this line. So let's go to the beginning and let's play this back. You can see first go that has basically stuck perfectly where it needs to go. It's not drifting around anywhere and it's just staying exactly where it needs to go. Now, if I pull the position to negative 5,000, for example, I'm bringing it closer to the camera. You can see that's going to move at a slightly different pace to the rest of the page because that's going to be a little bit closer to the camera and therefore we're going to get a parallax effect with that layer. You can see that will eventually move just a little bit quicker than the rest of the frame. So just make sure that is glued to the scene, make sure that's perfectly where it needs to be. And then from there, we're just going to increase the scale. So increase that all the way up. Then we're just going to temporarily select the eyeball icon to turn that off. And then from there, we'll just go into the pen tool up here. And we'll just draw a mask around that word. So we'll go into the top left, bottom left, move over to the bottom right, top right, and then back over to the top left. And then feel free to add any points into the middle and then make any adjustments if you wanted there. If you wanted a curve here, by the way, then all you have to do is just hold there and drag across and that will create a curve. And then of course you can just adjust these lines here to adjust that curve. So we'll do the same thing there. And now we've got this nice curve on the mask. So as you can see, if we turn this layer back on, you can see we've got this yellow solid now sticking to the frame. Now, before we carry on with this video, I'm first just going to take a quick break to talk about the Brooker Films courses. And in particular, I want to mention the After Effects course. Over on Skillshare, I have a two hour plus Adobe After Effects course, which covers everything from importing your footage to creating new shapes, masking, green screening, rotoscoping. It covers everything you could ever need when you're first getting started into Adobe After Effects. So if you're new to After Effects or you're just trying to brush up on some new skills, then click the link in the description below to check out the course. Now back to the video. Now from here, you can see we've got this highlighter now marked on top of the page and it's staying glued to the frame. But the problem is it's blocking the word. So to get rid of that, all we need to do is just go into opacity under transform and we just pull that down to around 50% or so. And now when we play this back, you can see that's living perfectly on top of the footage. Of course, though, at the moment, that is just tracked into the scene and it's not really animating on. So in order to animate this on, we just want to go roughly to the end point. So we'll go around five seconds, go into that mask, mask one and create a mask on mask feather. Now we'll go back maybe two or three seconds and then we'll just move the position 
of the mask over to the left. So we'll just pull this over here, pull this over here, pull the bottom right up to the top left, and then we'll pull the top right up to the top left again. And then we'll just make a cut at the start of this, or we can just cut the start of it like this. So as you can see, that is now animating in over time. Let's play this back in real time and see how this looks. That looks really cool. Of course, if that animation didn't look exactly fluid to you, then you can always change the keyframes by highlighting them both, right clicking one of them, going keyframe assistant and selecting easy ease, and that will create a more fluid animation. Now, of course, if you wanted to change the color of this highlighter, then you can just go into effects and presets, search for tint, drop tint onto that solid, then we'll go map black to and select a color of your choice. So we'll go for a red solid and then copy this hex code. Then we'll go into map white to select that white box. We'll paste that code in and there you go. You can see we've got this really awesome red highlighter now instead of that yellow highlighter. And of course, if you wanted to really make this blend, then you can just turn on the motion blur on that layer and that will give this really nice soft motion blur as this is animating across. But there you go, that is how you track your video footage and add a fake highlighter animation effect into your footage using Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.